Welcome to Drone Harmony's latest tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about flight execution with Drone Harmony. In previous tutorials, we've introduced the Android application and we've created our first flight plan. If you haven't seen these two tutorial videos, please be sure to check them out before starting into this one. For this particular tutorial, we are now connected up to a Mavic Pro and we have several different flight paths set up. But before we get into the flight paths, let's take a look at the top bar since we're connected to the drone at the moment. You can see in the upper left corner that we're in P mode. We have 13 satellites. We've got good connectivity between the drone and the controller. The drone's battery is at 61% and the SD card is currently at 0%. We're currently flying at zero meters per second, and we haven't lifted off. We've also got our GPS location. And over on the right-hand side, we can change the map mode that we're looking at for while we're executing our flight. We can also finally take a look at our camera on the drone. So in the upper right corner, you will notice a camera symbol. I'm going to go ahead and click on that camera symbol. And here we go. We now have a first person view on the left hand bar down toward the bottom. We have a histogram in the center area. We've got the overall video view. We've got it set up to auto focus right now. We could also do an auto exposure lock on the right hand side under menu. We can switch between still images or video depending on the flight type that you're doing. We also have a take a photo button and below that we have our settings for the drone camera right now. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're keeping it in auto and we're letting the drone and its software make decisions about the exposure. Now, you can actually do manual setups as well, so it's going to be up to you on the type of flight that you're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and close that window really quick. Also, down on the bottom right-hand side, we have a pause button. So if at any point during our flight, we're using the first person view. We can go down to pause our mission. All right, let's close out of the camera view and go back to our map mode view. So we have a very simple flight set up for today. And in order to access it, we're gonna go to the upper left hand corner of our interface and pull out that drop down menu. We're gonna go down to plans and flights and we are going to load and sync so we have our new DH flight demo set up on June 9th of 2020. We're gonna go ahead and select that and we're going to download that one. So now what you're seeing is an area that we've marked as zero feet above ground level. And this area we are going to fly with a top down mission. Now, if you don't know about our different mission types, you should go back and look at tutorial number two where we talk about setting up a mission. On the right hand side, halfway down the screen, you will see a plus 60 feet down. That is the mission that I set up for this demonstration. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And now you will see our flight pattern. So we've got a lot of waypoints out there um, to complete this particular area. If you'd like to know more information about the flight you've selected, over on the left hand side below the lasso, you will see an information button. So we have our flight plan information. We have a camera, the DJI Mavic Pro, which is correct. We have 71 waypoints is what our plan is looking like. As you may or may not know, Drone Harmony, working with uh, DJI platforms, has a maximum of 99 waypoints. If you are generating a much larger mission, that is okay. If you have a mission with more than 99 waypoints, what will happen is we will load the initial 99 waypoints to the drone. The drone will start executing its flight. When it gets to the end of its first 99 waypoints, the second round of waypoints will be uploaded automatically to the drone so that your flight continues uninterrupted. So now we are just about ready to launch this flight already since we had previously generated the flight plan. Down on the right hand corner, you will see a play button. But before we hit the play button, let's go over to the left hand corner with the 3D symbol. Tapping the 3D symbol, you will see our launching point. 
and then you will see our flight pattern that the drone will follow that Drone Harmony has planned out for it. I'm going to go ahead in the upper left corner and hit that back arrow. So we've gotten an idea of our flight area. We got to actually take a look at what the flight area is going to look like um, with our 3D button. And now in the lower right hand corner, we're going to hit the play button. However, this is not going to immediately start anything up. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we select the play button. We're actually brought into an additional set of menus that we need to have a quick chat about. So at the moment, we have the flight speed set at 10.1 miles per hour or 4.5 meters per second. There is a slider bar here so that you can speed up or slow down the execution of your flight depending on what you're working with. Below that, we have a during flight record. So we have several options here. We could do precise images stopping for every single waypoint. We could do precise images not stopping. Our mission will go faster if we're not stopping. However, the images might not be as precise as having the drone hover in place to take each of its images. Below the precise images, we have an option for shooting images every X amount of seconds. So you could have the drone continuously shooting, let's say every two seconds if you wanted it to. We also have an option to record video as we're flying along the flight path, or we have a final option of record nothing and just have the drone follow the flight path. The next item we have is set the camera triggering mode, so either distance-based or app-based. Then we have autofocus, and most likely you're going to be selecting autofocus because you're going to be doing some type of modeling. So we've got autofocus on, and we also have the auto exposure locked right now. All right, down in the lower right hand corner, we have a next button. Going under the next button, you'll see that we have a return to home at 98 feet. We have a set mission end action to either hover where it stopped or it can auto land from its launching point. If we have a signal loss, we can continue the mission or we could have the drone abort the mission. We can set the yaw control mode to either automatic or manual and the same can be said for the gimbal control mode, either automatic or manual. Let's go ahead and hit the next button and you will see here is our flight trajectory so we can have one more idea of our launching and landing point and of the path that the drone will be following. In the upper right hand corner, we have an option for animate, so it will show exactly how this drone flight path is going to be executed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that animate button off, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the next again. For emergency stop, change to another flight mode on the radio controller. So if you have a moment when you have an issue with a mission, if you actually flip to a different mode, the mission will come to a stop and then you can assess the issues that you are having. Finally, we're gonna hit the next button one more time and now we're taking a look here where we're in flight mode and that is the P mode, satellite count is at 15, satellite quality fix is excellent, the drone is activated. The no-fly zone is unknown right now and we're okay where we're at and we're actually operating under Lance for this particular mission and the home position finally is at the current location where the drone is. The next step is to simply hit launch the drone and we will start executing our flight mission. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get updates about our latest tutorials for Drone Harmony.